Hello, I'm Koshi Ikegawa from Hitachi Research and Development Group at Japan. I'm very happy to have this opportunity to present my work. Today, I'd like to talk about infrastructure for managing, sharing, and utilizing sensitive data using Hyperledger Fabric private chain code running on Microsoft Azure. This is the contents of this presentation. First, I will explain some background on the market needs and explain introduction. Background. According to the World Economic Forum 2019, the realization of data free flow with trust, DFFT, is a top priority for the new economy. As a mean to, the, to realize DFFT, we expect the utilize of blockchain technology. A feature of blockchain is that transactions and data content are shared and written to a ledger by all participating organizations. There are open data that can be shared by all organizations, and there are sensitive data that needs to be controlled to whom it is shared. When handling sensitive data, privacy protection is required by laws. Hyperledger public private chain code enables the execution of chain codes using trusted execution environment for Hyperledger public. It protects the privacy of chain code data and computation from potentially untrusted peers. It allows to write chain, chain code application where that where the data is encrypted on the ledger and can only be accessed in Korea by authorized organizations and or users. A trusted execution environment is a security feature that prevents external attacks by executing program in an area called an enclave that is isolated from the operating system. There are technologies that create enclaves on memory as a function of the CPU, such as Intel SGX and ARM um, Trust Zone. Other technologies that make the virtual machine itself an enclave. The fabric prep chain code implementation uses Intel SGX. Intel SGX is, a, is an Intel CPU feature that creates an encrypted area called en an enclave in random access memory. And it loads pro programs and data into enclave, allowing programs to be executed while protecting sensitive data. I explain why we choose Microsoft Azure for running public private chain code. By using virtual machines created using infrastructure as a service, there is no need to prepare or manage your own mass hardware. However, only a few infrastructure as a service providers offer virtual machines with interest GX that can use public private chain code. Microsoft Azure can create virtual machines with built-in Intel CPUs that can use Intel SGX. In this section, I will explain our motivation for this presentation. I introduce our use case. We created an, an infrastructure to manage and utilize genome data in multiple organizations. 
in this use case, multiple organizations are participating in a blockchain network for genome data sharing. A focus point, raw genome data must not be passed on to other organizations because the data is sensitive data. Therefore, analyze the data on the processor of the data owner organization and pass only the results to other organizations. This use case scenario will be explained in more detail in the demonstration section below. Our related work system architecture have a problem when handling sensitive data. The problem is that the unrelated organization can access the details of the transaction of organization one and organization two. Our motivation is to solve the problem by keeping transactions and data exchanges secret from unrelated organizations. We can keep transactions and data exchange secret from unrelated organizations using public-private chain code. I will demonstrate our system. First, I'll explain our demo system architecture. Next, I'll explain our chain code install in the system and client program in the order of the following scenario. I'll explain the demo system architecture to realize our motivation. We prepared a virtual machine with Intel SGX on Microsoft Azure. The machine spec is as shown uh, on the slide. Only East US location can create DC2S3 virtual machines with Intel SGX. We used fabric samples to launch the fabric, fabric blockchain network in which organizations one and organization two participate. Each organization has an external data storage for storing genome data and a data analyzer for analyzing that data. Our chain code is installed to run on trusted execution environment using public private chain code. The user invoke and or query the chain code and stores the genome data into storage via the client program. Here is an overview of a simpl simplified demo system. I visualize the contents of the state database in table. First, the doctor in organization one stores the genome data into data storage via the client program. Next, the client writes the genome metadata into the ledger. The metadata here includes the name of the data, ownership information, pa patient consent information, and the hash value of the genome data. Next, the organization two doctor search the genome metadata written in the ledger. For the search, the get data function of chain code is queried. This function returns a list of patient, patient consented metadata. In the previous step, if the organization to doctor finds data that she or he wants to utilize 
invoke request permission function of the chain code. The function of chain code writes the requester's MSP ID to the ledger. MSP ID stands for Membership Service Provider ID and uniquely identified on an organization and its users. Organization one doctor checks if there is a request of permission. If the doctor approves the request, the doctor invoke approve permission function of the chain code. The function checks that the approver MSP ID and the data owner MSP ID are equal. If they are equal, the function writes the requester's MSP ID in the permission field to the ledger and removes the MSP ID in the requester field. The doctor in organization two invokes the requested request task function of chain code after obtaining permissions. The function writes requester MSP ID and analyze analysis conditions into ledger. The client automatically queries the task request and orders the data analyzer to analyze it. The data analyzer loads raw genome data from data storage and execute the analyze analysis. Finally, the client invoke writes write re results function of chain code for write the results of the data analyzer analysis into the ledger. It's my demonstration. Finally, I will summarize my presentation. In background and introduction section, I explained some background on the market needs and I explained ex introduction that includes what we are doing with public private chain code. Next, I explained the motivation for this demonstration. Finally, I explained our demonstration system architecture and I explained our chain code and client program installed in our system. We thank all Hyperledger Fabric Private Chain Code community members for their great follow up and advice. Thank you for your continued support. This is trademark information. This is the end of page of this presentation. Thank you for listening to my presentation. How? Ah, sorry, please more loud reports. Ah, how deploy? Ah, yes. Uh, public private chain code is uh, can create a container at the external external chain code container so for fabric. So we can create. Uh, we can build uh, the chain code and uh, deploy chain code same uh, fab uh, traditional fabric chain code. We, we can uh, deploy uh, fabric private chain code same um, same uh, technology uh, traditional fabric chain code. Oh, sorry.
Well, thank you. Thank you. Okay. Thank you for listening to my presentation. <laughs>